Hi everyone, I'm Erin Collins, 2020 Chair of the Taste of Buffalo presented by Tops. We're here with you today to announce the winners of our annual poster art contest. We so wish we could be together in person to bring a fun announcement like this to you, uh, but we're really grateful for technology that allows us to all be together. And I'm joined here today by Ashley, Kathy, and Kathy from Tops Markets. Hello everyone. Every year we ask local artists to submit their original artwork to our poster art contest. This year we received more than 84 entries and were blown away by the creativity and talent of Western New York's com art community. Thank you everyone who participated and entered. It was so hard to choose from all of the beautiful artwork that represents the ends of our city and Taste of Buffalo presented by Tops. You're right, Kathy, it was really hard to choose, but we have two very talented artists to congratulate today. One in the youth category for 13 to 17 year olds, and another in the 18 and older category. And they're both here with us, so congratulations. Uh, first to Gus, our youth grand prize winner, and I'm going to share with you uh, his artwork. Here it is. Gus, can you tell us a little bit about why you chose this design? Um, yeah, I just thought a like, cartoonish approach would be nice to grab kids' attention. And I thought that the food that I chose was, would be um, a good eye, eye catcher because it's, they're nice and bright. And they also represent Buffalo's food. Absolutely. Nice job. Thank you. I like that you incorporated the Buffalo plaid on the Buffalo. It's fun, mm -hmm. it kind of brings another element of buffalo to it. Yeah, the detail's amazing. He's happy, he's muscles, he's even got an ear in his earring and his ear, it's perfect. Thank you. And it looks like he works out, he's pretty buff. <laughs> <laughs> it just definitely screams summer. I think something we're all looking forward to. Thank you. He is a buff buffalo, I love that too. <laughs> Thank you, Gus, great job. Uh, and now for our grand prize winner, congratulations to Kellen, and I'm going to share her design with you as well. Kellen's design will be featured on the cover of our virtual festival guide and on postcards that, that participating taste restaurants will give out to customers in the weeks leading up to our event. Kellen, can you tell us a little bit about how you came up with such a beautiful work of art? Well, when I decided to take a shot at entering, I actually went to your website to um, get a reminder of the variety of foods that were offered at the Taste last year. So I used that as the base of my idea, and I really wanted to just showcase the wide variety of foods that um, everybody can find at the Taste. The rest kind of just happened over hours of sketching and adding to the design. Um, I really loved doing it, and it was a really fun piece to create. It's beautiful. Kellen, I love how you incorporated all the colors from the logo from the Taste of Buffalo in the outline of the city of Buffalo and in the actual Buffalo itself and on the forks. And then you brought that food to life. You know, it takes place in the city of Buffalo and you incorporated the food right in the, in the center of all of it. It's great. Thank you. It's beautiful, Kellen. It really makes me hungry, too. That food looks so delicious. <laughs> So great Thank job you. to both us and Kellen. Thank you to everybody who entered the poster art contest. Please keep checking back for details on this year's Taste of Buffalo at Home on July 11th and 12th. You can order Taste Takeout from your favorite taste restaurants and from Tops Markets. We'll also be live streaming local music, cooking demonstrations, kids programming, and other fun content on our social media channels. And our digital festival guide will be at tasteofbuffalo.com soon. Uh, where you can see Helen's artwork and get the full list of restaurants, food trucks, wineries, and menu items, plus our full entertainment schedule. We hope you'll join us at home to support our local restaurants on July 11th and 12th. Stay, stay safe and save the day.